thank you so much for coming back to join me, Miss Hubbard, for Creative Movement today. I'm very happy that you could be here. Now, we're going to start off the same way that we always do, with our magic hands. <laughs> I wonder what your hands are going to be today. Maybe you could turn your hands into a letter C. C for cat. <laughs> Maybe you could turn your hands into a letter A. Do you think you could make a letter A with your hands? Hmm. What about another letter of the alphabet? Maybe you could turn it into a letter X. <laughs> Show your grown-ups what your hands are going to be today. Now, we're not going to use our magic foam because I know that you have been doing a great job washing and keeping your hands clean. But we are going to rub our hands together. Come on, let's do it fast, fast, fast and slow. High in the sky, down low. And to the side, and to the other side. Forwards, backwards, whoa! How about around, around, around in a circle? Behind your head, behind your back, underneath your legs, and show me those nice clean hands. It's time to shake, 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 and wave and say, Hello, 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 hello. Are you ready to twist our bodies to wave at what's behind us? Get ready, sit up straight, and hello, 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 and to the middle now. Up, 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 and say hello, ceiling. And let's go down, 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 down. Whisper to the floor, hello floor. And back to crisscross applesauce, great job. <laughs> all right friends, let's come all the way up to standing for our warm ups with our head. Ready? Let's loop to the side and to the other side, to the side, to the other side, to the middle and up and down, up and down to the middle. Now let's see if we can make our ear drop down to our shoulders. Can you use your hand to gently pull it down a little more? Let it float all the way back up. And try the other side. Ear down to your shoulder and gently pull it down with your hand. Ah, and let it float back up. I'm in the mood for some more hugs today. Let's reach our arms big and wide as possibly as we can. And give yourself a great big hug. Oh, that's so nice. I miss hugs. Let's do it again. Ready? Big wide arms to the whole wide world. And give yourself a great big hug. Wonderful. All right, friends. I think it's time to shake our body. We're going to take one hand. And we're going to shake and count to five. Ready? Here we go. One, two, three, four, five. Great job. Let's try with the other's hand. One, two, three, four, five. Ooh. Can we try it with our leg? Here we go. One, two, three, four, five. Other leg. One, two, three, four, five. <laughs> now, we're going to slowly count down the numbers as we shake out our hands and our legs. Are you ready? Let's try the number four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Can we do it with the number three? One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. <laughs> Let's try the number two. One, two, one, two. One, two, one, two. Can we try the number one? One, 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 one. Very good. Mmm. I'm feeling a little bit hungry. I'm thinking about foods that I love. What kind of food do you like to eat? I like to eat peas and carrots. Do you like peas and carrots? Let's try to move our bodies while we say P. 
peas and carrots. Are you ready? Oh, let's go this way. Make sure you've got plenty of room for your body. And we're going to go peas and carrots. Whoa, great job. What other foods do you like to eat? I like to eat chicken nuggets. Ready? Chicken nuggets. What about some watermelon? Do you like watermelon? Ready? Watermelon. Ooh, how about some dessert? I like some chocolate ice cream. Ready? Chocolate ice cream. <laughs> you can make up one on your own. What do you like to eat? You say it while we move our bodies. Here we go. Ready? Great job. <laughs> and let's sit down crisscross applesauce. our magic hands to make some letters from the alphabet. Now, today is an alphabet day. I bet you've been doing a lot with your grown-ups at home and with your classroom teachers on your Google Classrooms to practice your letters. Have you been using your sky finger to draw your letters? Let's try a letter O. Can we make an O together? Ready? Use your sky finger and let's go Round, around, 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 around. That was an excellent letter O. What other letters do you know? Do you know the letter X? Let's use our sky finger. Ready? And X goes across and across. Very good. I wonder if there's other parts of our bodies that we could use to do our sky writing. Do you think we could draw some letters with our toes? What letter is in your name? I'm going to do M for Miss Hubbard. Let's see if we can do our sky writing with our elbow. Can you draw an M with me for Miss Hubbard? Ready? We go up, down, up, down. Very good. What other parts of our bodies could we use? Could we use our nose? Let's try it together. Hmm, this time let's do the letter S. Ready? And S goes around and down. <laughs> hmm, I like that letter. What other parts of our body could we use? Could we use our toes? Let's try a letter with our toes. How about um uh, a P? A P goes down and around. Whoa, very good. <laughs> now, let's see if we could use some other parts of our bodies. Let's stand up and try to write some letters. Here we go. All right, is everybody standing up? Let's see, could we use our Shoulder to write a letter? Hmm, what letter should we try this time? How about the letter E? And E goes down and across. Ugh. Ugh. Nice sky writing with your shoulder. Can we try a different letter this time? Maybe with our knee? Hmm, what letter could we write with our knee? How about a W? W's go down, up, down, up. <laughs> Do you think we could try writing a letter with our bottoms? Oh, that's very silly. What letter should we do with our bottoms? Can we try a, ooh, how about a V? A V goes down, and up. <laughs> wow, great job. Now, friends, let's try making some letters with our whole bodies. If we were going to turn our bodies into the letter I, how could we do that? Let's stand up straight and tall, just like the letter 
I. Very good. What about the letter X? Could you make an X with your whole body? Let's see, big wide legs and big wide arms. <gasps> oh, I look like the letter X. Are you making your letters in a different way? That's okay. I want you to come up with your own ideas as well. There's lots of different ways for our bodies to make our letters. Let's try uh, a P with our whole bodies. I'm gonna stand up straight and maybe I could wrap my body around ooh, to make a letter P. What do you think? Did I make it? <laughs> Let's see. Ooh, what about if I used ooh, one arm? Ooh, that's a pretty good P. Ooh, and look, I can make it in R if I stick out my leg. Can you make a letter R? Wow. <laughs> what else have we got? How about the letter E? How could I make an E with my body? Well, let's see. An E has a straight line. <laughs> Maybe I need to sit down for this one. Let's see. If I stick out my legs, and I stick out one arm, and another arm on top of it. <gasps> look! It's the letter E. <laughs> what about the letter F? How should we make a letter F? Hmm. Let's see if I can stand up and make one arm. Oh, Ooh. how about that? Did I make a letter F? <laughs> you can try in different ways. And let's come back down to crisscross applesauce. <laughs> now, hmm. I bet there's another letter we can do down here while we're sitting. I'm thinking of the letter V. Ooh, a V has two straight lines. So I'm going to get one straight line on this side and one straight line on that side. It's the letter V. Now I'm thinking of a curvy letter, something that goes S. How can we make an S with our bodies? Maybe if we, oh, wow, that's a nice curvy letter S. Oh, if we go the other way, we could turn it into a Z. Ready? Wow. It's a letter Z. <laughs> Another way that we can make letters is by laying all the way down on the ground. If we were going to make the letter C, we could stretch out my legs and curve around into a C. And let's come back to crisscross applesauce. You guys did a fantastic job making letters with me today. Another great activity that you can do at home is to work together as a family to make some letters. I've got some great extensions listed in my lesson. I tried with my cats, but they haven't learned their letters yet. <laughs> all right, it's just about time for us to say goodbye. So let's all bring our hands together to our hearts. Let's all take a deep breath in to help us calm down our brains and our bodies. And let's get ready to say our goodbye words, which are, I wish you well. I wish you well. Thank you for coming and have a great day. Goodbye, friends.